Hi Leos, welcome to the channel. I am so excited to get into your reading. This is a what comes up, comes out, so let's do just that, okay? Put this Palo Santo over here before I start a forest fire. <laughs> All right, dear God, I ask that you're giving the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please, for the sign of Leo. What are the most important messages that need to come through for the sign of Leo at this time, please? All right, you have the sixth chakra. Oh, storm warning and deceit. Okay, so you guys are needing to be careful at this time okay bottom of the deck here um i wasn't going to show this i was just going to pull three but i'm being told that like this angel of balance card needed to come through which basically means that you all are going to be protected okay from this person from this deceit that is going on here this angel of balance are you all are needing to get your life in balance okay your practicality and your spirituality need to be aligned at this time some of you all i feel are about to get some very powerful messages okay now with this sixth chakra, so you have the sixth chakra, which has to do with new beginnings and personal vision. Okay, so you're needing to see a situation for what it is because there is definitely a storm warning. This is basically my um, tower card. Okay, so something is about to fall apart so that things can something new can be built in its place. Basically, okay, because there is somebody in your life that is being deceitful. So some of you all may be experiencing some. Um, interruptions at this time hi leos i decided to just go ahead and film this over because i was getting interrupted but anyways back to what i was saying um you have the six chakra the storm warning and deceit again like i said six six chakra is about new beginnings and personal visions so there is something that you're about to see now with clear eyes okay maybe up to seeing that a situation is not working due to a person being deceitful okay there was some deceit that is going on all right so let's see why these messages have come out for you. Give me the most detailed and accurate messages for the sign of Leo, please. Give me the most detailed and accurate. Oh, yeah, something's going on. Could be a bad relationship, okay, or partnership that is going on because you do have, <clears throat> excuse me, three of pentacles in a reverse so there is some type of conflict that's going on it could be conflict at work conflict in a marriage third party could be third party interference yeah you have the ace of cups here okay which has to do with spirituality intuition i feel like y'all i feel like for some of you all when i tell you i feel your intuition is knocking on the door if your intuition is not going off like crazy some of you all are experiencing like seeing angel numbers or you're getting downloads that you're needing to go in another direction in your life okay that either this person is not right for you or this situation is not right for you okay take it how it resonates yes once again third party energy there's the three of cups energy there uh this also has to do with a person needing to heal um somebody needing to compromise okay could also be friendship among women also with this three of cups energy this is about a partnership or a connection that you're dealing with okay that with the seven of pentacles here in the reverse so i feel like for some of you all it could be a job for some of you or a relationship like i said take it how it resonates where it feels as if something is not working out like i'm putting all this work into a marriage i'm putting all this this into a job and i'm not seeing the results and for some of you all that's why that storm warning is there because you may keep putting into something that is not meant for you okay yes and it's causing some type of hostility because you have the seven of wands here in the reverse all right so some of you all are thinking about giving up on a situation or on a purpose or a person okay you have here new possibilities all right new opportunities that are coming if you choose to walk away from something that's not serving you with that four of cups there in the reverse four of cups all also has to deal with somebody choosing happiness okay because you may have found yourself in a period where you're not okay where you're having to accept that you know what this is not working I'm not happy I feel like I'm experiencing the same situation day in and day out yeah you may have found out that you 
or in a third party situation. Some of you all could be dealing with a Gemini here because you do have the lover's card, okay? So that means um, making a choice, making a choice between two people, whether this is you or this is your person, or making a choice between which job that you want to choose and if there's a job you need to let go of, okay? Because for some of you all, you may have realized that this person may have chosen you or you may have chosen this person for superficial reasons, all right? And it's not working, okay? For some of you all, this is a short-lived relationship or something that you felt like shouldn't have lasted as long as it did. Yeah, and there's that Ace of Wands there, somebody needing willpower, okay, to move forward, to choose a different route. Two of Pentacles, yeah, somebody's trying to balance. There's a balancing act there. All right, balancing a decision or their priorities or trying to adapt to a situation. Now, you have the justice card here in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. So this means that somebody could be feeling like, could be a Libra that you're feeling like is treating you unfairly. Could be a um, somebody in the justice system. Maybe you lost out on a case. I feel like for somebody, you may be trying to gain custody for some of you all i'm getting messages of gaining custody of a child you may have lost a custody case this could be a father trying to get a child from the mother but it's not working out i'm getting a lot of messages but let's see why these are coming through give me the most detailed and accurate messages please for the sign of leo give me the most detailed and accurate messages please for the sign of leo Bottom of the deck, I made you feel worthless, but the truth is you were too good for me. Yes. So like I said before, that deceit is coming from this person. And this is why a situation is needing to come to an end because this person, yeah, they may well be in love, but they feel that there is no need here. They may have been dangling a commitment over your head. Yeah, we'll get married. Or I'll marry you or we'll do this or we'll do that. But it never seems to come into fruition. So it seems like months past six months i keep getting six months yeah in six months we're gonna get married in six months we're gonna get a home in six months we're gonna move in together it's always another level that this person is saying that you're gonna do something that never ends up happening all right you have here reach out and it's not easy pretending that i don't want you and you make me feel alive listen if this is not you it's your person somebody has somebody else that they are entertaining or somebody that they want to go towards this is the what fourth confirmation of third party interference let's go ahead and take a look at some intuitives and see what comes through give me the most detailed and accurate messages give me the most detailed and accurate messages please for the sign of leo what need to come through at this time please what needs to come through at this time, please? Let's see what we have. You or your person could be bald. I want to reach out to you. Okay, so you have somebody, like I say, you have somebody that's wanting to connect with you. Could be a Gemini, okay? Uh, somebody could be dealing with a Gemini, like I said, that lover's card came out. So it could be trying to make a decision between two people. You or your person could smoke. You have the got a light card. Again, look at this. I want to reach out to you. Oh, my God. Whoever this person is, Leo, they are wanting to talk to you so freaking bad. Look at that. Spiritual work is being done here. Like we had that angel of balance there at the bottom of the deck. If there is not spiritual work here, there is spiritual work that needs to be done on either your end or your person. This is all about meditation, connection to spirit, traveling, and thinking spiritually, okay? You have my heart card has come out here. So this person that wants to reach out wants to let you know that you have their heart. Somebody could be very petty. You have the tit for tat card here. You're being told to be thankful for what it is that you have. Some of you all may have been looking for the next best thing instead of really looking at all the blessings that you have so far. 
okay? You have hurts like hell, okay? So it may hurt that this person is not in communication with you and wanted to reach out. Something that you're dealing with could be affecting you as well. You have here climbing the ladder to success, okay? So like I said, it could be a lonely road to the top. For some of you all, like I said, this may not be love. This may be something having to do with work that you all are dealing with. Look at that. You cannot make this up betrayal in business yes definitely the energy some of you all may find out that somebody at work that's smiling in your face is trying to take your place okay so be careful family oh my goodness this may be a family owned business it may be a family member that's trying to deceive you or family could be a good support system for you as you deal with some issues in your life you have here can't get enough just a little white lie there's that betrayal again Somebody's not being honest, okay? You have here songs remind me of you. There is definitely somebody from your past that wants to make their way to your present, okay? Money going out, okay? So be careful of who you're giving money to. There could be deceit behind that. And look at that. You cannot make it up. Goes right back to that angel of balance. 333 is your angel number. You may have been seeing this, is a, this a lot. So it's letting you know that you are being guided by spirit to make the best decision for you. Okay? So if you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I will see you all in my next reading. Bye!